Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Farsi Assault TV YouTuber here, and we're back with more Total Annihilation. So, continuing from where we were left off last week, we will be visiting the Isle Parsh. Arch? Parsh? I don't know how you pronounce that. I think that's, I think that's how you pronounce it. Isle Parsh? Oh, who the hell knows? During this period of the that's war, good. armed commanders were frequently mm. accompanied in the field by Damn a good coffee. model known as the Zeus. The Zeus was heavily armed for defense while the commander was otherwise occupied, and it was often fed key information and used as a go-between when other lines of communication were down. A Zeus found on its own was usually on such a mission. Okay, so basically we gotta capture a high-ranking officer. Okay. Alright, commander. Sorry about that head. I don't know. That's not blinking at me. <laughs> Alright. And we actually have airborne you. Oh, you know what I might end up doing? I mean, I'll have to use a couple. I'll have to use a couple of ships, but Yeah, let's put the air unit air superiority to use. Actually, you know, hold off on that commander. Let's get a, at least a solar collector up. You know, we'll build a we'll build a title we'll build a title tower. All right, a couple title generators, get them up and running, and then we'll build an aircraft plant. They cost roughly about the same. Metal eighty one. Energy 752. Let's see. Solar collectors cost metal. Oh, so they take less metal and less energy. Okay. Cool. Hmm. And they generate just. Well, as you come to think of it, your energy generation is dependent on tidal strength, so. Okay. Let's go ahead and get an aircraft plant built. Hopefully I'll have access to advanced aircraft too, so I can, you know, build. And don't get me wrong, aircraft build really slow, but. Hmm. I kind of want to get some air defense going. I'm hoping I get access to battleships this, uh, this mission. All right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, just my mic for a second. Out of my way. All right. Go and build a couple scout craft. And explore my new island, or my temporary island home. There we go. Reclamation. If I actually might want to do some scouting, it might be actually be a lot easier to just send a bunch of Valkyrie transports and just kidnap the Zeus that way. Alright. Come on. What's the torpedo launcher? Oh. We got more torpedo launchers. There's the Zeus. You know what? There's a real simple way to do this. Okay. You know where the Zeus is?
So all we gotta do is capture the stupid thing. I don't want overzealous core units destroying it. Okay, transport one. You know what? I might just send a bunch of fighters in to wreak havoc. Just on general principle, and then send the Valkyrie in to uh, do its thing. All right, we have torpedo launcher. Okay, let's go ahead and build another title, a couple more title generators, and then get a pair of beetle launcher. I've grown to loathe brawler gunships. I love them when I'm using them, hate them when I'm fighting them. go Eighth. might be smart to build a metal storage just because I need that then start reclaiming rocks Come on, Mr. Avenger. Now, I don't know if there's back, if there's warships lurking around here. That's my biggest problem. Oh, it won't hurt to do a little scouting. Yep, there we go. Fuck it. I'll harass the shit out of them. I know. A freaking General Patton. And so I didn't see that coming. Let's pour a little bit more metal in here, metal into there. But I should probably, I might just build another aircraft plant just to get things going. Go ahead and finish reclaiming these rocks, and I may just do that. Build a second aircraft plant just so we can keep thing keep the ball rolling as long as possible. Because I am hijacking that Zeus. Grand Theft K-Bot, motherfuckers. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Coffee tried to go down the wrong... Uh, <laughs> tried to go down the wrong pipe. I know technically your, your esophagus and all this is technically linked in... I think it's, like, it's not two separate pipes, it's one. Think. If I remember right, things that one of my uh, coworkers told me. More K bot or more fighter craft. Thank you. Like I said, our goal is not to win, our goal is to distract. There we go. Or no, our goal. Or not our goal is to distract, it's not to kill. I'm not looking to kill every arm unit on the map. I just need to hijack a Zeus. And keep the enemy busy long enough so I can do so. No. 
Oh god, I feel like I'm playing that, um... I think it's Glacial 17, or... Yeah, play... No, Land Down. Land Down's interface. Yeah, the Land Down's interface mission. Where you're basically almost entirely restricted to air support. Alright. I'm not gonna say 4 is gonna be enough. Probably got to build another energy production. There we go. Yeah, it looks like. Looks like. Alright, Commander, after you get done with that. I know 6 probably isn't gonna be enough, but it's gonna be enough to just kinda rustle the enemy's jimmies. Which is what I'm going for. Okay. But once we get a seat at six, I want to try and get at least ten um, Avengers going before I start picking fights. There we go. You, my lovely, are going to be the two. Alright. Let's go ahead and keep building. Oh, look! Is he coming my way? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he's not. Okay. Here, I thought I was going to have a fight on my hands. That's okay, because, let's see, we're living minutes in. If this strategy works, mind you, if it works, that's a big fucking if, I will have effectively cheesed the enemy with my distraction card effects. Yeah, I know, this isn't Warhammer 40k, but the principle is the same. Just a sheer tar pit of aircraft. Capture the Zeus. And just wreak bloody havoc on the enemy. Cry havoc and let slip loose the dogs of war. Alright. Come on. Hope this works. Don't pick fights. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, now, now. Oh, the Valkyrie got taken out. Okay. Let's scratch that plan. You know what? Oh, look. That's a lot of anti-air. All right. I guess I'm coming to say hi. Now go ahead and capture. Okay, no, never mind. Don't capture him. Thank you. Well, um, my plan was the cheese, but. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. Hi! Okay, come here. Targeting the commander. How quaint. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's see if I can figure out where those motherfuckers are, because you know what. 
I'm gonna capture him if I can. Oh, mind. Hi there. How are you? Well, you know what? I'm not having you destroy my entire infrastructure. Come here! Come on, get up there. them very very mad oh, that's what I get for provoking them so soon Almost like they're psychic and how they know where I'm at. Probably gonna have to just suck it up and get. No! Alright. They prioritize. I just need him within D gun range. That's all I need from them. I need them within D gun range. And he's not within D gun range, so fuck. It's playing work like a dream. Now right, let's go find us our missile carriers. Come on. Keep turning them out, Commander. Oh. Although that one might actually get within range. Come on, I need them within D cannon range. Or D gun range. Whatever. Uh. I got something to shoot at, huh? Oh, there my other. Come on, Commander. That one might be within range. I think it is. Come here, cupcake. Guess not. Oh, well, I'll go ahead and repair that. Just keep him busy for a little bit. Get the metal storage repaired. You're gonna sink eventually. Huh. Great. Somebody's seen me. in the water. You 
You know, Grand Theft, uh... My plan had been Grand Theft... Zeus, but, uh... Don't think it's going to work. Oh! Oi! Get back here! Pansy. You're gonna die eventually. Well, I was doing. And there went my metal storage. Fuck you, or metal depot. Metal extractor, fuck you. somewhere. Not that one. Damn it. That, there we go. That's what I want to see more of. Yeah, this was a... This was definitely a well-executed plan. No, no flaws at all. I am nothing but the... I am nothing if not the finest strategist. I tell myself as another Avenger blows up. <laughs> uh, you can just stay right there until I muster enough troops to deal with you. We have reserves! Yes, I do. I have extensive reserves. All right. So, uh, come on, come on. The fact that this thing can be taken, granted, it takes a lot of effort, but the fact that this thing can be taken out by a handful of fighters, if you're ballsy enough to do it. Oh, now that I think about it, the missile frigate really is just a, it's a set, it's a, you're a fire support unit, you're not meant to be in the line. So yeah, my plan to commit Grand Theft, uh, Grand Theft Zeus may not have worked out so well. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll make it work. Get it? Just about. Alright, so once he goes down, I'm going to build up another one of these. And I'm just going to send fighters in mass just to wreak havoc long enough for me to hijack the... Huh. Hijack the Zeus. At least with these, I don't have to worry about it, uh... Almost, almost. They got it. Send it to the bowels of the ocean. All right, gentlemen, come on, pack it in, pack it in, come on. Pack it in, here you go. Just crank out air support. That's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna crank out the air support. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 
Who needs ships when you can just crank out air support? <laughs> Let's see, we got Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. We're just cranking out Avengers. Come on, crank it out, Commander. Crank it out, Commander. Let's repair that first. Two, four, six, eight. Eight. Eight fighters. Ha, 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 ha. I know, I ain't got no creep I ain't got no cheesy thunder effect to uh really accentuate that whole count countula. Yeah, I think that's what he's calling the count or countula, count countula. I don't know how you Come on. Okay, so we have Avenger, Avenger. Not sure how many Avengers. Two, yeah, nine, this will be ten. That's why I'm not caught with my pants down again. Their radar up. It wasn't for the fact that I'm afraid that if I use ships, it would bombard the hell out of everything. I would actually stick to using a. I would use naval units. But I need that ship and or I need the Zeus intact. Well, come on. Let's go, boys. That needs to go. Sentry guns need to go too. I get rid of the sentry guns, it's all over. And I just had to get rid of the one. Keep him cranking. Keep him cranking. Keep turning them out. Hmm. Knock out all the sentinels and start just hammering away at the ground troops. Once that's done. All I gotta do is hijack a Zeus. All right. 
There we go. That's what I want to see more of. Who thought taking out a single heavy laser tower would cause so many casualties when airborne units of all things? Not hurt, sure who she, he should shoot at. Not hurt, sure who, who he should shoot at. <laughs> there we go. Oh, missed. Got him. There's one more turret we gotta knock out. Right there. Just keep turning them out, Commander. All you gotta do is just keep churning them out. But you know what? We might be able to get away with not just leaving that one alone. Where are these damn gunships? Warship. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There. These units wreaking so much havoc. Remember, it's a defense. It's a defensive action. Well, let's go. Poor Crusader. <laughs> it's literally just eating missiles. <sighs> Say what you want about fighters. They're definitely useful for just sticking it to people. And with no dedicated anti-air. Yeah. Okay, scratch that. The heavy laser turret is your dedicating it to air. Sink that ship yet? Probably not. There he is. Hey, no. There, 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 sinking. That must be a submarine. Okay, okay, okay. Huh. Okay, you know what? Knock his ass out. You'll fall eventually, buddy. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, most effective anti-air unit. Heavy laser tower. <laughs> Huh? 
You know, providing get it rotated around, that is. Got him. Kill the Fidos, kill the Fidos. Don't hit the Zeus! You moron! There you go, that's all you gotta do. Grand Theft Zeus, Grand Theft Zeus! Ah, Almost. Zeus. Knock out the Fido. Knock out the Fido. Here you go. All you gotta do is kill the Fido. There we go. Okay, there's another one here you gotta knock out. Kill him! Let's go! Hey, where's that damn Zeus at? That's all you need. That's all the opportunity you need. Come on, come on, come on. No! That is kind of... That is obnoxious as hell. Well, you know what? Come on, boys. You're not going to make this easy on me, are you? No, no, no. Okay, once that's destroyed, I'm just going to send transports at him. This mission is pretty much over. I just have to actually... It just took a little longer than I thought, and I'm actually going to have to... Come on. That's gone. I'll be able to hijack the Zeus. Or I might just bring the commander down to do it. Might actually be easier to do it that way. Come on. It's a little bit longer. Eradicate it. No, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, since you won't cooperate willingly, I'm just going to come over here and do this. Just going to land my commander. And, yeah. Maybe I could have gotten away with using destroyers, but at the same time, again. Come on. Oops. Let's keep in mind. You can be destroyed. Well, maybe this wasn't going to be as bad as I thought. I mean, it still took a bit of doing. Yeah. 
There you go. Thank you. All right. Okay, Commander. Should still be over here. There he is. We're just going to capture you, and guess what? Your ass is mine now, Zeus. <laughs> Ouch. He does hit hard. Boink. Cool. Oh. Those are uh, Crocs. Again, why does the R or core always get the cool dioramas? Traitor leads the way. All right. When time was too critical to allow for true patterning, an enemy unit could be brought over to the core side without duplication using a simpler process known as impression. Impression. This was done with the captured Zeus K-Bot, and it was discovered that the Zeus possessed valuable information indeed. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta take the Zeus to the gate and capture it without the Zeus. Okay, so basically the Zeus had. All right, so I have to keep the Zeus alive. All right. Well, first things first. Great. It's gotta be something like. But I guess I'm building a K-Bot lab. Do, but. Sometimes you gotta make do. You know what? Fill it down here. Nope. Oh, you know what? Hold on a moment. Where am I building a metal storage? Get my economy. Go Once that's done, I'm gonna get my economy going. And I need to build. Okay, there we go. Or I'm going to have to start reclaiming everything. Well, I guess that's going to make things a little bit on the, bit on the interesting side. <laughs> Surprised I haven't gotten attacked by everything and... Yeah. Better keep my Zeus alive. There we go. Let's get some room made. All right. Like I said, I'd rather have a vehicle plant if possible, just because those build faster. All right. Reclamation, reclamation, reclamation. Always reclamation. Go ahead and start building, Commander. There we go. I know air support would probably be more useful, but we're going to go for a combined air and sea approach. If we can, when, that, when it comes down to it. Ah, shit. I'm not going to have enough energy. Okay. Well, you know what? There we go. Go three tidal generators. Mm. Out of coffee. <laughs> it's all right. Is I don't know. Anyways. So. Yeah, that was an interesting start. Mm. 
You think the missions are miserable now, some or you think a lot of those missions were miserable to begin with? Try playing Rain, I know the later versions of it don't have it, but try playing Total Escalation with the campaign. Actually, I might do that at some point. If you guys want to see that, I'll play replay the uh, Total Annihilation campaign with the uh, with Total with the Total Escalation mod. In this case, I have access to the old 8.9 beta, so. So that's done. 39, 39. Okay, so there's some strong tides. Cool. Strong tides. All right. Come on, Commander. Start reclaiming. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a geothermal. We're going to need those. Other thing I need to do. Give me a radar station up. Okay. That'll give me a little bit of early warning. But none of that seems to be moving, so I'm thinking that might be fixed defenses. Not sure. I go ahead and build a uh, build a shipyard just so we can get something in the water. This is all, like, the first five, ten minutes of the game are always, especially in multiplayer games, they're always nerve-wracking. Because you know that your opponent could come, while you're still tinkering around your base, could come rolling up on you and just ugly shit kill you. But at the same time, a commander is a very formidable opponent. So, at least against small groups of units, so you throw enough, you throw enough of anything at somebody, and they'll fall. They, they will, they will straight up fall. Okay. Once you get done with that, I'm going to need you to build one of these. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to have to build a couple slasher missile trucks just for defense. And just put a little bit of anti-air in the air, as it were. Actually, you know what? I need to build more, uh, I'll build more tidal generators while I'm at it. I'm trying not to go, you know... Hey! I say, where's that other construction truck at? Alright. Boop! 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 Okay. One. Two. There we go. Oh, one of the things I can appreciate about this game that you don't quite see a lot these days is the actual ability to conduct mobile warfare. But here's the thing. I played this... I think I've actually talked about this before. I'm not entirely sure. If I did, feel free to remind me in the comments below. But I remember playing StarCraft. And, I mean, I won't lie to you. I did fall in love with the universe. It was a good universe. It, it was interesting. It was something It was something a little bit more interesting than, well, what I've been playing at the time. And I know there's going to be those guys that go 40... Or StarCraft ripped off 40k. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care about any of that. I don't know how much truth there is behind that. But, um, <laughs> I just, I like the universe because it was something interesting. And as nice as the gameplay was, and believe me, it was like a nice rock, paper, scissors on what countered what. Well, that wasn't always true, but you got what I'm saying. But at the same time, I, I, I didn't like the fact you couldn't move when fighting. I don't, I don't see that a whole lot in a lot of modern RTSs where... It's usually just units conduct, unless it's like a special ability, because I think, what was it, the, uh, I can't remember what it was called now. I know, it was one of the more recent, uh, StarCraft II units, 
it can conduct it can conduct a mobile warfare but it had but it had a special lock it was a special lock on ability and i never yeah i just i i don't know <laughs> No energy gain right now. There we go. There we go. Okay, anyways. How was I saying? Yeah, like I said, you, you don't see a whole lot of like mobile combat, and if you do, it's kind of, it feels like all the units are hit scan. It really does. Huh? Do I risk it? Yeah, I'll risk the commander. Come on, commander. We have metal to reclaim. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything over there. Okay, let's see what's over here. Just out of curiosity. Is it a battery? Is it a ship? Okay, so it's just one of these fucking things. Oh. Ow! I figured I could take a hit or two, but... <laughs> Not quite. Now, can you shoot at him from there, or am I going to have to... There we go. Boom. There we go. Okay, Commander. Once you're done with that, reclaim that. Go ahead and repair him. And then head back to base. Awesome. All right, so we've got destroyers cranking out. I'm going to have to build an advanced vehicle plant so I can get mohos up because sorry to say this isn't going to be enough. Do I even have the room for an advanced vehicle plant? Oh shit. Not really. Probably down there, but that'd be about it. All right. Go ahead and finish that. Uh, go ahead. You go up there. 12 minutes in. Haven't been attacked yet. Good, because I'm still trying to set up defenses. The two plasma turrets should be enough to ward off most attacks, but... Oh, cool. Hit it. Yes. Very nice. Okay, back it up. Go ahead and knock that out too. Kill it? Oh yeah, you did. Alright, let's do a little more exploring, shall we? Maybe I should have gone for air units, but that's okay. It would have taken me longer to... Oh, first loss. First loss. And it was the one who'd already gotten kills. <laughs> Damn it. That's okay. So our first loss of the mission was an enforcer, knocked out some turrets, stack defenses. Oh, 
Oh boy, this is already going to get real interesting. Okay, so once that's done, Punishers are done. There we go. Let's see, how are we doing on Destroyer? Okay, Destroyer, Destroyer, Destroyer. Much I'd love to build metal makers. I don't think, nope, can't build them on the water. I don't have access to floating models either. All right. Now we'll just build one right there. Like I said, I oh shit, I need to get an advanced vehicle plant built. But at least I want to guarantee at least having a small float or a small flotilla of uh, ships, just in case. Okay, Commander, go ahead and start building. Ah, uh, shit. I can't send my risk sending my commander out because he'll get smoked by that uh get smoked by a torpedo launcher. And uh, three ships should be in probably gonna want four just in case. Oh, it didn't take so damn long to build ships. Ah. Okay. Gotta be a place I can build. There. A little closer than I'd like. She you know. Reclaim that fucking thing. Start building. We're getting our economy rolling. Because I'm tired of not having an economy. <laughs> I'm tired of not having an economy. <laughs> I shouldn't find that as funny as I do what I, I do. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just weird. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have locked down so hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, this video is demonetized now. <laughs> Okay, more metal, more metal, more metal. It's always my key limiting factor is metal. There's never enough of it to go around. Okay, so we have three. I can get around to building advanced facilities. Come on. Just start popping metal in. Come on, come on, come on. Still haven't gotten access to the Goliath yet, but that's okay. I'm probably going to have to relocate the uh, vehicle plan if I want to keep using it. There we go. Almost done. Almost done. There. Now, things are getting good. Okay, so... This is going to take a big bite out of my economy, but that's okay, because I need a moho extractor.
Moho, check. Our ship's running. We have everything going. Come on, Commander. If we can get just one Moho mine down. Because once the economy, once that happens, well, find a way. You know what? Screw it. Reclaim it. Do it. Come this way. I'm going to regret doing this, but that's okay. Because I'm just relocating the uh, vehicle plant. I don't want to self-destruct it because, yeah. It'll damage everything, and I don't need that. That's good. There we go. Holy shit, we already we have 21 metal, metal. Okay. 21 metal a second. That is pretty good. But we can do better. And given the fact these are rich deposits... It's going to crank our metal extraction rates up even more. We just have to keep things going. Okay, so once that's reclaimed, that'll be 800 metal. Let's go! Cool. That's done. Got, all, got a bunch of metal from that. Get everything rolling. Oh, you know, it, I feel sometimes like I'm repeating myself. Like, get it going, all that. Get it going, here we go, let's roll. All, But at the same time, it just, it just gets me... Whenever I know things are starting to finally, finally gain momentum, it takes, on average, depending on the on what kind of game you're playing, it'll take anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes for your... Actually, no, actually, you're looking at probably about 10 to 15 minutes. The first five minutes of the game, yeah, those are always good. You can start cranking out bots, but it's not a guarantee you're going to be able to get your... It takes about five minutes to get your economy going. Another 10, or another five to get your infrastructure... Or, yeah, it takes five minutes to get your infrastructure up. Another five minutes to... Or another two to three minutes to get your units rolling. And depending on where you're at by the 15-minute mark, it'll either make or break the mission. It will. It'll make or break your mission. Okay. Let's do this. So we've got five destroyers so far, and it's starting to look more and more like I'm getting to that critical mass point where you start to gain momentum. And if I can keep that momentum, and I mean genuinely keep it, problem is really not enough room. I might just have to suck it up and build a K-Bot lab. I don't like building K-Bot labs, because K-Bots are slow to build. But it might come down to it. Hmm. Five destroyers. Check. Be six destroyers soon. Oh. All right, we are getting, we are hitting our critical mass point. Get this last uh, metal extractor up. 6.2, 6.2, yeah. One last metal extractor up. One last moho maker up. Yeah, how'd that work out for you, huh? 
All right, go ahead and repair it. Oh, they're already sending skirmish units at me, so looks like it's time to start stepping up the pace. There's a Zeus. Right there. I don't want him getting taken out. Hmm. A little bit of the... Just a moment. We have here... God damn it. Oh. Have you ever stretched and your back just pops funny? Oh. Like it, your back just straight up pops. Like pop, 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 pop. Fucking hurt sometimes. All right. We're here. That final point. Let's go get him. We have five destroyers. No, make that six destroyers. That should be enough to rock the world of anything nearby. Let's send them out, see if we can't start knocking heads in, because... Yeah. Fuck the enemy. Fuck the enemy and anything in their general vicinity. That was a laser tower. Okay. Okay. Nice to know the arm's gonna try and corral. Huh. Well, you know what? What a. Knock his ass out. Okay, that was not what I thought it was. Got him. Target eliminated. So we'll just use our basic units to kind of push in. At least for the interim. I can take anything you can throw at me, Buster. There we go. So I gotta make sure to destroy the enemy. Oh, maneuver, maneuver. So, yeah. I mean, we punched a hole, destroyed a couple submarines, and at the cost of an entire or a battery and a shore battery at the cost of my entire attack unit. Not a good trade. No reason. Oh, it's gonna be like this, is it? I hadn't planned to do it like this. But you know what? Base my shipyards out a little bit more, damn it. All right. There we go. Repair that. Move back to shore. Actually, repair that. Repair that, and then move back to shore. Because guess what? Fuck the enemy. <laughs> On my construction ships, damn it. Come on. Help him out, Commander. And I'm gonna need one of them. Oh, I might boil down to him and build a couple of gat guns too.
Gat gun, gat gun. All right. Come on. Come on. I like the fact that the construction ship's actually more maneuverable than the actual combat ships. I mean, you can't reach a construction site. Come on. in reserve get over here and help him or the envoy that's right the uh it's the arm version it's called the hulk all right do not lose the zeus cool i have yet to lose the zeus Although I think I'm going to use the envoy to transport my advanced construction truck, put it up here, and then build another Moho mine. Because five mo what's better than three Moho mines? Or four Moho mines, five Moho mines. As much in the way of Mohos as possible. Alright, Warlord Battleship. You know what? I remember in the arm campaign those being like one of the scariest. All right, come on. Get over here and kill this guy. All right, quit blowing up my shipyard. Come on, Commander. Ah, shit, those are submarines. Yep. Yeah. that build. Mm -hmm. I like how the Piranha, the advanced submarine, has less armor than the... an actual submarine. Okay. Okay, so once that's built, I think I'm only going to build one of them. Just because of how expensive they are. Actually, I think they cost less metal than the, um... The Millennium. I think they do. Ow. Neck. Alright. Load him. There we go. Think. You. Come here. You're all worried about the Enforcer. Why are you worrying about the... When you have the Warlord ready to... Uh, well, there just went my... Uh... Yeah, that ship... Yeah, that shipyard's done. Go ahead and reclaim it. Huh. You got this number right here. 
This right here is what you want to be worried about. I'm going to build a couple of sharks just because I know for a fact that there is a millennium on this map. And as fun as it would be to have the warlord just kind of wail on him. Not quite going to go for that. <sighs> All right. Go ahead and start cranking out warships. I hear just resignation here. Resignation. No, I'll build a couple, about two of them, and then build some executioners. Come here, you. Pair. There you go. All right, come on. Back it up. There. Man, this motherfucker's fast. Let's see. I think the piranha is an attack sub, whereas the shark is a submarine killer. Basically, the piranha is meant for offensive actions, whereas this thing is meant for defensive. Let's see. Let's go around plowing into people. quite what I want it to be, but you know what? Screw it. Let's start ripping into people. Actually, I'm going to need anti-air support. Uh, yeah, you know what? That actually might be a good idea. Build a couple of frigates. I'm going to have to build some patrol boats. Just because I know... They have anti-air abilities, and I'm going to need to knock out the enemy's... Um, yeah, knock out the enemy's ability to use gunships. Yay. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I remember these things being an absolute bitch to fight when you were playing the arm. But now, time to make the, the arm's butts clinch. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, one of these on their own is pretty fucking scary. And they throw them at me like two, three at a time, so... Huh? Come on! I'm gonna have you guys act as escort. Come on, quit it. Okay, so we're cranking them out. Cranking them out. All right. Let's do this. Just send them all in. I was going to have them just guard, but you know what? Just send them in. Send them all in. We're ending this now. <laughs> 40 minutes into mission, not too bad. We're almost 40 minutes into mission. Honestly, this is the penultimate level, so... Uh. 
Like I said, best ship killer or anti-aircraft gun in the game. Heavy laser, hands down. Yeah, like I said, this thing will just rip through enemy defensive units. See? See? You, you guys wonder why I always was like, every time I see one of those, my butthole clinches. One for one. Yeah, run, run, run. I'm gonna have to build another one of those. I'll build two this time. Let's go, let's go, go, go. More battleships, more destroyers. Come on, let's go. More destroyers, more destroyers, more destroyers. Just crank it out. Crank it out. More hostiles we turn, or the more units we turn out, the more hostiles we make die. Well, you know what? I'm getting real tired of the arms amphibious assaults, so you know what? Let's give them a taste of their own medicine, shall we? Mainly because I wanted an excuse to use some Crocs. <laughs> They're called Crocs. <laughs> He's a Croc! A loon! Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not very funny, am I? <laughs> I know this. I'm, try I'm trying to make things a little interesting instead of a no, or just a no commentary playthrough or whatever. I try and, yeah, all I can really do. I should probably build a fusion reactor at some point. But you know what? Go ahead and build more tidal generators, because you know what? We got an economy, we got wreckages to protect, we got defensive emplacements. Let's go. Okay. Load them up. Well, that beachhead is not quite clear yet. We're going to make it clear. All I got to do is bring the armed Zeus to the gate. All right. Let's go. Come on, come on. Knock him out. Don't rush ahead on. Come on, maneuver. There we go. I just got to keep it in one place for just long enough to end this. Crocs. Bunch of hole in their center line, so you know what? Let's make them miserable.
I don't want to accidentally blow the hell out of the, uh... I don't want to accidentally blow the hell out of the Galactic Gate. Unload. Come on, just unloading. There you go. See how hard was that? I know for a fact six of these ain't gonna be nowhere near enough. I don't know if I've gotten rid of the majority of the enemy ships or not, so just keep churning them out till I know they're all gone. Done, I'm gonna bring you back up. There we go. Okay. Yes, Master. I will go do the dishes. <laughs> okay. That was bad. Huh? Whew. Oh, excuse me. Repair. Repair. Repair the enemy. Or repair the or send out the vehicles. We're we'll be sending the cannon fodder in soon enough. These are always nice to have if you're on a map that allows you to get away with shenanigans like this. Because like I said in the amphibious AK video, if you're a map on a map that allows those kinds of shenanigans in your opponent, it can be used to tilt your opponent. Of course, this is more of a late game unit, so no, 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 keep. Going with a damn. Let's go. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I at least want ten of these things before I start attacking. Yep. yep. All right. Let's go. I want frigate supporting. Yeah, no, we're, or, I'm organizing into a vague, vague. Congratulations, you two are on, uh, yeah, secondary duty. Shit. All right, come on. Gonna be a hot minute before the frigates are ready to, uh... Okay. Yeah, compared to the last couple of penultimate levels, this is a little bit, uh, rougher, but at the same time... The amphibious missions are always tough. They are. Okay, we're gonna try and regroup as close as we can to the shoreline. Not die stupidly. Repair the vehicle, or repair the vehicle plant, please. Thank you. I'm trying to keep as much of this shit together as possible. Once they're all close, we'll begin the assault. Main purpose of these amphibious tanks. No, don't turn around, you stupid bastards. Okay, let's go! Get as close as you dare, but don't get too close. We're here to thin the ranks. 
This is, you know, this, I think this is the first time I've ever used amphibious tanks in earnest for one of these missions. But at the same time, I think it's just part, part of it's just a novelty. We're actually doing, or we're doing damage. You want to knock that jammer out, please? There we go. Come on, keep moving. We just need to find the Galactic Gate. I'm really low to move these things in any closer. Merle's down. Okay. There's more tanks. Ah, uh, regroup. Oh. Never mind. I would I want to double check to make sure there's no surprises looking up here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's never a surprise when the penultimate levels always take so long. Alright. Okay. Load, load. Afterwards. Unload. Uh, although. Come over here and flush out whatever that is because I don't like that. That's an unknown. I don't like that at all. It's obviously a service vessel. And if it's another freaking. You know, I knew there was a couple of Millenniums, and I was expecting this massive, you know, brutal assault. Like, have to go all in on just a straight-up slugfest and... Oh! You know, you had access to a shipyard. Why didn't you use it? Actually, no, be glad they didn't use it, because otherwise I would have been up shit creek without a paddle. Although, maybe that was a point. Maybe within so or after so long the enemy would start to gain momentum I don't know alright where's that damn alright you two come on Capture the Galactic Gate, and we should be able to move on to the next mission. <sighs> Look at this. They're walking hand in hand. I'm glad to be with my best friend, having so much fun, making memories together last all summer long. I think I. <laughs> okay, that was awful. <laughs> I know. Don't ever do that again, Farsi. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna take a hot minute. Cool. We win.
I brought the Zeus to Galactica. What the fuck? It's gonna be a case of kill everything on the map. Oh. Okay, so I had to maneuver around to a point of. All right. <laughs> and it basically did the same thing I was doing. You see, you got the Punisher right there. You got the Crocs coming in. All right. So yeah, my losses were not much better than the enemies. All right. I think we got, I'm actually gonna save real quick. But I think we've got time for one more mission. Maybe. Rouge Pelt was an inhospitable yep. world. A frequent hail of meteors, actually pieces of Rouge Pelt's demolished mm. moon, rained down destruction on the inhabitants at unpredictable intervals. I wonder... Nevertheless, it had been a core stronghold for over a thousand years before arm invaders had been able to capture it. Oh, look, it's not moving. The core commander intended to show the arm that the battle was far from over. Yeah, that's not moving. Holy shit. Okay, so I gotta capture the advanced radar tower. All right. Let's do this. Oi! I didn't intend to do you dirty like this, but you left me no choice. Can't build a base. Yeah, that sucks. I can't build a base. Yeah, here, bitch. <laughs> That's going to come in handy because it'll save me just a little bit of... Yeah, I shouldn't have even tried. Really, I shouldn't have even tried to capture the uh, Zeus. That cost me a little bit of health. Capture it. And then capture the peeper. And then repair that. Hey, look, a lurker. Scouting. Cool. Oh, that's a Jethro. Okay. That's going to be the safest point, point of landing. Load. And unload. Load the commander, and then unload him. Yeah. Problem is, the commander's too fucking big to transport and escalation. That's That made this... The Rouge Belt missions were always fucking... Mis no, 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 no. Come here, bitch. There we go. I'm gonna reclaim some plants. Why? I'm gonna reclaim the energy source and then I'm gonna reclaim some plants. Why? Because I need the energy. All right. Oh, look. You know, I'd always been a bit curious about the lore behind Rouge Pelt. Because I never understood where the uh, meteors came from. Or never quite understood. You know what? Shut up.
I miss that? Dick. Hmm. Two shot. Capture that advanced radar tower, please. And once that's done, guess what? I win. You lose. Fuck you. There we go. Cool. Hm. Four commander leading P. Oh, captured Pee Wees. All right. Well, I'm going to save the game. And I think I'm going to call it there. Anyway, I'm a Farsi Salty VTuber, and thanks for sticking around, everyone. Till next time, stay salty.